The mean is the most commonly used measure of central tendency, and it's the one and it's the average that we're most used to using in, in common day arithmetic. Uh, technically speaking, in statistics, we will call the mean of a variable x, x bar. And x bar is just equal to the sum of all the x's, so the sum of all your data values, divided by n, the number of data values that you have. Now, I want to just recall, uh, remind you that in statistics, we are dealing with samples and populations. And we are going to use Greek letters when, when describing population parameters. So when we're constructing statistics based on a population data set, well, then we are going to use Greek letters to, to denote those statistics. And when we're calculating statistics on a sample, we're going to use Roman letters. And Roman letters, by the way, are the same letters that we use today in English. So by way of example, we have 30 points in, in our population. And I've drawn out the location of these 30 points. Assume that we measure some variable x at each location here. So we've got a population of 30 points, and we have 30 different x values. If we were to calculate the mean of those 30 points, we would be calculating the mean of the population. In that case, we're going to call the mean mu. That's spelt M-U. It's the Greek letter for M, which is why we use it to, uh, to, to refer to the mean. Here, we are going to use a capital N as opposed to a small N when we're dealing with the population size. So that breaks the rule a little bit, because capital N is a Roman letter. But uh, just know that capital N is going to be the population size, and mu is going to be the population mean. Now, from this population, we can take various samples. So here, I've showing you two different samples. Each of those samples has a sample size n equals 8. And in order to calculate the sample means, x bar, we're going to sum up the data values of the eight points in each of those circles and divide by n, divide by 8. I could just as easily take a sample of these three points and then add up the x values of these three points and divide the sum of the, the x values divided by 3 to find the average x value of these three points in that sample.